depict the power of thousands of people in a single church window. The strength demonstrated by the People's Uprising in the former East Germany. Twenty years on, Leipzig artist David Schnell has chosen pinks and blues to illustrate the peaceful revolution. These colors are meant to show both reserve and aggression. There are gentle blue tones and aggressive pinks. I wanted to show it as a peaceful revolution, but also that things were touch and go. Schnell was born in the West and followed the 1989 protests on television. After the Berlin Wall came down, he went to Leipzig to study art, and he stayed. Now he's been here for 15 years and is a member of the renowned art movement New Leipzig School. Even considering his international success, the invitation to take part in the competition for the window was special for him. It was such a great honor that I actually hesitated at first because I didn't know if I could measure up. But then I saw it as a possibility to reach a new audience. Not in a normal art context, but in a venue that's important to a lot of people. Schnell's abstract proposal won the competition. Creating a church window was a first for him. He sought advice from a company in Taunus that deals in special types of glass. There were difficulties at first. Layers had to be taken off with chemicals. Etching away colors was completely new for the 36-year-old artist. David Schnell's window is made up of a thousand individual pieces. The fact is, the peaceful revolution wasn't clear-cut. There were tensions and it could have easily gone the opposite way. It was just extremely lucky that things didn't escalate. So I connected the aggressive elements with soft floral elements in order to illustrate this tension. Two months later, the 80,000 euro window was finished. Here in St. Thomas's Church, Schnell's window takes its place with the renowned figures who have already been honored here, like Johann Sebastian Bach, the great composer who long served as organist and choir master, and Martin Luther, who preached his sermons here. It was this window in particular, honoring those who fell in World War I, to which the artist wanted to form a counterpoint. The pastor of the church was immediately won over. I'm glad he avoided the usual cliché symbols. Swords into plowshares, doves, peace symbols, rainbows, that sort of thing. A viewer would have then stood here and thought, church, right, so predictable. But instead, the viewer thinks, is peace really that edgy, that explosive? David Schnell has captured the energy of that time, and the people of Leipzig have received it well. His earlier doubts have vanished. Now, 20 years after the peaceful revolution, it's no longer appropriate to differentiate between East and West. And because I've lived here for 15 years, that's also a very clear indication that it's all one Germany now. Coming up on Arts 20.